Hello everybody, welcome back to Familia Pavlano. I'm the one and only Anna. And then there's Pablo. There. <laughs> Here. <laughs> and Elena, of course. Uh, guess where we're going today? We are heading to a, a carpenter shop to help us to build a baby crib for our little, little baby that's coming up very, very soon. Oh. Mama, Mama Africa, Africa, your, your children, children are home! home. Obiri, Tabi, Obiri, Elena. Obiri. Obiri. So far, the so little kids have been able to they switch from being a boy to a girl, from it's being a girl. So, this baby, it's going to be twins, boy and a girl. So, yeah. <laughs> so, follow us along. Let's go to a carpenter, and let's go get a baby crib. Huh? I'm excited. I've never had a baby crib made from scratch before. And Pablo, aren't you excited as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some, uh, we got those bunk beds from oh, yeah. there as well. So we know they do well. Oh, yeah. They do. And our bed too. Mm -hmm. Our bed as well. So yeah. they do a good job from scratch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to it. So let's go. So we're looking forward to it. So let's go. So here we are exploring and we came across a beautiful yard like this beautiful garden. beautiful garden look at all of that greens and banana matoke beans there's guava avocado beautiful oh <laughs> yeah so we are heading to get the the um the crib from the carpenter mm -hmm. and now uh, we just wanted to say a few things about the pregnancy and uh, I forgot and what not <laughs> what not so, so I started thinking how is it possible to gain just 20 pounds in pregnancy and eight or eight pounds of that is the baby how is that even possible uh, because everything I've been seeing ACOG and every one of them are saying that you have to gain at least 35 pounds if you're a normal weight, you know. Mm. And uh, seeing that you can gain a, at least or again a, a, a weight of like 20 pounds, it's very shocking to me and very unbelievable for me. Mm -hmm. And that happened ba on eating plant based foods without the oil, salt, um, sugar, and the processed stuff. Uh, and uh, it's just amazing to be behold. And uh, you probably have seen uh, Raphael, that's our avocado baby. Yeah. <laughs> so. so when ACOG is saying like gain 35 pounds, like the minimum weight, and they, they count it, they, they uh, break down the weight gain, like what is going to be the baby, the water, and the fluid, and all that stuff. So they calculated about six to eight pounds of fat that you're just going to gain. <laughs> just fat. That actually and is that's normal for Americans. Yeah. Normal, yeah, and that is minus the, the, the fat that will be in the in the colostrum, in the breast, enlarged breast, basically. That's minus mm. that. So six to eight pounds, imagine gaining that. Oh, yeah. So normally if you're able to if you're eating the American diet and then they say you have to exercise, exercise hard to get rid of that excess fat because of the They yeah. always they always tell you exercise, exercise, because, exercise, you know. Because you're eating all of this inflammatory yeah. food. Exactly. Detox, exercise, right, detox. Exactly. It's like, why are you detoxing? Why are you well, exercising? It's because right. you're eating a bunch of junk. You exactly. Know, and you have to work off. Work off very hard. Mm. Now imagine if you're pregnant, you're not able, you're unable to do that. You cannot exercise at all like, like you would. If you're, you're incapable of mm -hmm. the exercises you could do normally. Exactly. Like, now remember, the fat is just going to stay. It's not mm. going to be exercised up and it, it's, it's a fat that doesn't it not even add to the baby benefits you in any way it doesn't it, it, it just stays there and your thighs and those underbelly it stays there and then of course if you're eating all of that salt MSG as well as the oil everything it brings about excess water as well you have to count that too now if you're having that now know that your health is at risk you are already at a let's just call it high-risk pregnancy as is mm -hmm. just like that because 
you've gained a very unhealthy weight. I don't care what the ACOG people are trying to say, like 35 pounds and an 8 pound of it is fat mm -hmm. and that is healthy. That is not right. That is not healthy. Well, ACOG also makes money off of, you know, women having issues oh. because then you get, you know, money mm -hmm. for C-sections, you get money for interventions, you get yeah. money for all those things. So Imagine. Overall, it's mm -hmm. in their best interest, even if they personally don't think of it that way. It's overall, crazy. it's in their best interest mm -hmm. for, for mothers to be sick. Right. And... And then when, when and I, babies, right? Matter. And then I look online. I say, what is that? What are the best food for pregnant women to eat? And all of the food that they show are the USDA approved food or subsidized food. You have Imagine your eggs, that, eh? your dairy, yogurt, oh. and milk. You have your um, 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 what else? Your salmon is also mm. there, and they will add avocado in there as well. And then they say, oh yeah, maybe you can eat beans once in a while. Oh, meat, lean meat, they call it. Anyway, we used to eat that. We used to eat all the salmon we could, yeah. all this kind of stuff, until we saw where it's farmed right. and what and chemicals they put in it, even for the color, let alone everything else. Mm -hmm. You know, all the runoff, pesticides, herbicides. Sorry, it's kind of a busy street. It <laughs> is, and everyone a little slower because I want to see people uh, talking on the down. side of the road. <laughs> Yeah, so so now you have this, you have excess weight, excess fat, and excess water weight in this pregnancy. Maybe from pre-existing, the pre-existing condition too. You know, if you take that and take that to the hospital when you are getting ready to give birth, and you're saying, "Yeah, I, I'm having a difficult time giving birth. It's very difficult for me. I, uh, I'm very, um, what do you call? I don't have the energy to push. I don't have this and that." because you've gained all of this excess weight and you don't have the strength what it takes to mm. push that baby out and then you're blaming this is where you put that that um, um you conversation say, you say together you blame, blame healthcare you blame doctors, you blame doctors you blame, for you know, the, the problem it's kind of like you're blaming the new president that just entered for the bad economy and then the guy will be like i'm sorry this <laughs> i economy, just got here i just like. got here the economy was already bad by the time like <laughs> whoever that is right we're, we're not political whoever no. that is we don't care yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like that you, you took yourself you take yourself now to the hospital and you say doctor please help me they said no 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 your health is already bad as it's we can you, you don't expect magic you know mm. it's not gonna happen like I'm going to do a bracadabra and then you right. will be back to health. No, you've already caused this on yourself because mm. of the health, um, the lifestyle you're living or mm. because thanks to all of the information we're getting out there saying that 35 pounds is, is normal, is mm. okay to gain and 8 pounds of that is fat, just fat that you're going to gain. That's not right. That's not mm. normal at all. I found that out by switching to plant-based foods without the oil, salt and the processed sugar, mm. any processed foods. Found out that you can actually gain a healthy weight human can gain 20 pounds just 20 pounds mm -hmm. I mean take a look at me honey they have to take a look at me <laughs> like like look at this all that is growing fifth, is fifth just, pregnancy right baby yeah. number five all that is growing is just the belly oh guys mm -hmm. just the belly look just the baby inside yeah Elena, Elena don't don't yeah. <laughs> so imagine that yeah. you know so it's amazing that it's possible to just gain just 20 and by the time you calculate the baby, the placenta, the water weight, extra fluid, it comes together. Eight pounds of it with the baby and you know, and then the weight, the excess weight, gone. No, no, you know, the fluid and everything. Just gone within a few weeks. Imagine that kind of a life. Imagine that kind of a pregnancy. Like even from the First trimester, for example, gained just one pound. Imagine that. It blew my mind. Mm. And second trimester, maybe towards the end there, you probably gain about four pounds. Imagine mm. that. And third trimester is when you gain the remaining um, um, five minus 20. You gain the remaining 15 or so. And it, it goes gradual, maybe every week. You know, if you go to baby center, they'll tell you, this is the last few weeks is when the baby just... just growth part happen mm -hmm. that you're supposed to follow that trend you're not supposed to already gain 10 pounds or 15 pounds right. by second trimester which i did i did and by the end of um and you're not supposed to get much bigger because the yeah. baby because your belly is already full basically right basically of, like placenta and and the water and everything that's mm -hmm. inside the embryonic sac right the baby just kind of grows to take that space just mm -hmm. like an egg like an egg doesn't get bigger or or whatnot right no the egg stays the same it's just the the baby inside that grows the chick inside that grows and takes over that uh, that space. Right? Same thing. 
So the belly shouldn't get bigger than this. Exactly, you know, it shouldn't trimester. at all. It just mm. gets denser. The water just leaves and it just gets denser. So, and I, I told you I did. By the end of second trimester, I've already gained maybe about 30 pounds. And then I gained even more. Mm. So, third trimester, 40 pounds. Imagine, huge, 40 pounds. Mm. Compared to when we switched to plant-based foods without all the processed mm -hmm. salt, uh, sugar oils, just 20 pounds. And that extra 20. extra weight, which yeah. is water weight, fat, mm -hmm. everything, Placenta. all that extra weight, it, it creates even more space for the blood to have to flow. Uh -huh. And it puts so much stress on your heart. And it puts you at risk. Right. Just Don't like bodybuilders, you know, exactly. they put up all so much muscle on their body, their, mm -hmm. their heart has to handle more than extra. what it was naturally supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And so that's a lot of extra blood. Exactly. Right? That's a lot of extra work. So that that's what I'm saying. Do. But by the time you get to the hospital mm -hmm. and you're saying that, oh, your health is not right. good, Elena Beraki. you don't have um, you don't have the strength to push the baby mm -hmm. out because they, right. the doctors will say, I'm so sorry. You did this upon yourself. It's the lifestyle. Right. The, you know, you have this too much excess. Everything you're not supposed to have that. So then, but they can't the, say that. That doesn't help anyone. They so they just say, say out, out come the knives. Yes, exactly. Out come this. Out right. come that. And then you we know? blame them. They for, make money on it. So why blame not? them when when mortality rates rise. And then you have high mortality rate of mm -hmm. the mothers. Right. You yeah. have. I've read articles mm -hmm. for years, especially about African American mothers, mm. and they just talk about how it was terrible. Mm. Uh, they had high blood pressure, or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, the doctors maybe didn't catch it, or maybe they're like, "Oh, they're just so used to seeing it, they didn't think about it." Yeah. The mother goes home, has a heart attack, dies, yeah. right, with a newborn mm. right next to her. Mm. You know, they mm. may or may not survive depending on who's there helping her. I mean, it's terrible, mm. right? Yeah. The mortality involved. We're talking America, supposedly number one country, whatnot. Yeah. People are dying. They are dying at younger ages. Well, and in this case, the yeah. mothers are dying more and more and more. The state that we were in, mm -hmm, they had, okay. had the mm -hmm. highest like maternal mortality mm -hmm. in the entire country. I mean, and, and that's why we actually awful. did home births and it's we're like, awful. we're not going yes, to the hospital. Exactly. It's dangerous. But it, it wasn't even the hospital that exactly, caused the problem. Exactly. Exactly. And know? I got to talk about this because <laughs> it's not even just the hospital, right? right? It's the lifestyle. It's the food. Yeah, yeah. And I made a connection as we were coming over here. Mm -hmm. I was remembering videos, things that I had watched, things that I had read in the past. And all of those things, including that mother that died, they blamed what? Racism, mm. and they blamed the the what is it? The, yeah, the healthcare, healthcare system, that the people with right? Their skin gets, so they so they know? say they say first off, healthcare system sucks, and that's why this is happening, right? So they blame the healthcare system, mm. like you were talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then they will blame. Uh, racism saying oh they're not getting enough health care because of the color of their skin mm -hmm. now I'm not denying that there are a lot yeah. of inequalities there in the health care system there are there's yes. tons right yes. I mean you will be treated like crap in a lot of cases mm -hmm. if you have darker skin in your in, in the US mm -hmm. anywhere let alone in the healthcare system mm -hmm. but just just because someone's treating you like crap doesn't give you high cholesterol right mm -hmm. you did that no, on yourself hypertension, yeah. exactly and I was thinking about these videos that I had watched about um, what is it uh, yeah, so there's some that are talking about on one side, mm -hmm. like, ah, you know, African Americans, they have the highest blood pressure, they have the highest this, mm -hmm. they have the high, they have the mm -hmm. worst cases of this, that, that, mm -hmm. health, 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 they have the worst, yeah. right, in the entire country, African Americans do, mm -hmm. and they blame it on all sorts of things, yeah. right, uh, but then I hear on one side, African Americans talking about, ah, African Americans are living in food deserts. Yeah. This is terrible, right? Mm -hmm. LA, East LA, whatever. All these these places, they have no fresh food. They have no fresh organic food. You mm. can go to a supermarket, all you see is like things in boxes. That's it. Yeah. Right? All you see is KFC and whatnot. There's not even a supermarket for for like 20 miles around. Things like that. Food deserts, right? That exists. And they're complaining saying this is terrible for the health of of our people, you know? Then on the other hand, I see videos of African Americans <laughs> trying Kale, kale for the first time and, like, and they eat it and they're like what is, what is this this? Oh, Man, like this is white <laughs> but uh but they talk about that and it's like wait, wait wait white people what it's like why are you talking about a whole group of people first off and second that whole group of people if you separate them out they have way better health than anyone else in the country right statistically mm. and it's like why is that why is that when yeah, you're I mean, denying when you're saying greens and crap like that yeah, no i want fried chicken i want exactly. this I want, so I want fried food <laughs> Like we need to encourage people to 
we have to change the way we eat. Mm -hmm. It's killing us. The exactly. lifestyle that we're leading is, is, is giving us all these lifestyle diseases, including cancer. Yes, it is a lifestyle disease. Um, and, and it's killing you us very young. Yeah. At age 65, people don't live past 65 anymore. People, they get their 50th birthday, they're making, they're doing birthday as if they will never see another because they know what it's like. Uh, yeah, you know yeah. that people don't live past 50, 60, you know. So That's everyone, true. Oh, everyone God, has I'm fear. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everyone has fear that so, this could be my last day. You exactly. Know? It's not It's not uh, just about the prayers. We're praying to God to spare you. No, no, no. It's what, what do you do to yourself to, to help yourself in right. to not, you know, fall into the lifestyle diseases and, and just die young like that. And that doesn't it mean... It depends on us. You have to do right. it for ourselves. It doesn't mean finding a better doctor mm -mm. With, with better, sharper knives, you know? Mm -hmm. That's not what it means. No. With with better drugs to throw in your body. That's, mm -hmm. that's not what it is, right? Mm -hmm. It's about preparing your body it's about nutrition not yes. diet mm -hmm. nutrition yeah, what which means need. what your body needs exactly right what goes into your mouth it's not what, what you need to cut out mm -hmm. or what you need to add in your diet no it's what your body actually needs what are the what are the vitamins what are the minerals what are these things and where do they come from not mm -hmm. pills not, not pills. supplements mm -hmm. But where does it grow? Where does it come from in nature, right? Mm -hmm. That you can eat mm -hmm. and actually absorb. Yeah, you grow. Yeah, it it grows from the ground up. And so far, this is what we found. That is the best you can ever, the, the best way you can nourish your body mm -hmm. and so, cheapest way of, of exactly. maintaining your health, right? <laughs> Doctors are not foods, cheap. <laughs> minus minus the, uh, the the, the um, um, processed stuff because they are doing right. some really really messed up processed stuff. Uh, beyond meat and all that crap mm. and then they're doing all this processed salt as well as sugar oil all of those things and you can call them oh they're plant-based too as well oh they're vegan they're vegan because <laughs> they're grown in a lab it's like what? <laughs> you gotta kill yourself you gotta kill yourself <laughs> veganly you know <laughs> vegans can die young too <laughs> exactly ah. so, so you eat like an american in general you die like an american it's terrible. exactly look yeah. at the stats of mm. americans yeah death health whatever you want to call it look at the stats if you're eating like a normal American, you're going to follow along with those stats. That's exactly. why I say I'm not just like making some joke. I'm being right. serious. Mm -hmm. If you eat like an American, you will be sick like an American. You will die like an American. You have the yeah. same issues, including the mental health issues. All of that that's wrapped up together. Everything. Everything. Like everything. 99% mm -hmm. of things that are wrong that people go into the hospital for can be prevented. Mm -hmm. Can be by just the lifestyle we're living by just eating nutritious food that foods that heals mm -hmm. plant-based foods without all the processed oil salts sugar and gives all your that body stuff. what it needs to fight everything exactly. including these little bitty cancers because cancers start small you know yeah, cancer it, it starts small they don't start as massive things yeah it doesn't open overnight no it's a it's a it it's starts years. with a few cells right a few yeah. cells that's mm -hmm. how it starts yeah and your body can fight that easy if you Very give it what easy. it needs mm -hmm. And, and if you so and if you've already have you've already have you know pre-existing conditions, your health is uh, is is you know down there. It, you can still change. You can change mm. it around. That's what I found out, and it's amazing. The, you you you'll be surprised what your body can do mm -hmm. when you give it the right nutrition. It will heal itself. Everything will be boom. Pre-existing condition gone. Mm -hmm. Heal. You're healed. You don't need a doctor to heal you. The plant-based food, food from that grows from the ground up, mm -hmm. without any of the maybe uh, the toxicness that they add right. to it, you know, processed stuff. Right. Those are the foods that heal. Those mm -hmm. are the things that can heal you. Right. Yeah. If you start getting your salts and sugars from from the plants that you eat, from yes. the food that you eat, then you end up your blood pressures normal within normal. a week or two it's it's amazing I mean, it's amazing that, that should never that be a happen. problem blood mm -hmm. pressure high blood pressure should never be a problem i say that again high blood pressure should never be a problem high and cholesterol should not exist and and then people with with the glaucoma and then the doctors are saying you need salt what which world are we living in oh my gosh anything that raises your blood pressure raise the pressure of your eyes too mm. you don't need it no all of the sodium you need is available in your in your fruits and in your vegetable everything that grows from the ground up uh. absorb the sodium absorb all of the nutrients you need and you just eat those mm. you never need to get the processed salt sea salt whatever type of salt you might call msg it's also salt sodium mm -hmm. um, and also the sugar too is just processed like bullion that. You know, don't, don't forget about bullion exactly. people forget about bullion bullion is like what 50 percent salt 
Yeah. Yeah. All so you don't that. need any of that. You don't need it at mm -hmm. all. So that's the end of our rant. I hope this helps somebody. Like, share, subscribe, tell your neighbors, tell your entire family. It's never too late to change things, to turn mm. things around for the best. Mm. We'll bring more videos. Your health is in your hands. Exactly. It is not, in your power. Right? Not in the healthcare system. Exactly. It's yours to mm -hmm. to um because i know it, you can feel yeah. very helpless especially in the u.s where yeah. they tell you basically if you live here you're gonna get sick and fat yeah because you live in the u.s you it doesn't know? have to be so it doesn't have to be that way no. don't take it don't yeah. take it lying down Let's right just, exactly don't do it. and and they will say do you know how much it costs to get all this organic food you're saying with other spray ah. stuff you know how much chemotherapy costs exactly Oh my God. Exactly. So that's the answer. You you invest in your health, mm -hmm. so you know that when that time you, and it come rain or shine, you're you're protected. You health know. is wealth too. Eh? Yeah. Health is wealth. If you're healthy, you're not wasting all of your money on bills. You're not in exactly. debt and losing your home exactly. because of medical bills, which is happening to mm -hmm. to Americans, lot, humans in the U.S. everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we are going to get the. Uh, oh what? yeah, the the baby going crib. To get the baby the, crib. Yeah, well, carpenter, newly made from the carpenter shop. Hey, so, yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, about, wait, am I speaking your bat to the kids? <laughs> oh, <that about. laughs> they didn't understand your bat. Oh, man. <laughs> I will learn. I will learn the gender one day. Hello, Elena, Ben. <laughs> now, the, um, the rest of the kids are taking a nap right now at the house, uh, um, in the house. But thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll Our bring rants. more video <laughs> later at some point. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Follow our adventure on the Pearl of Africa. Live vicariously through us and the beautiful, warm, yep. sunny Late Pearl January. of Africa. And it's We're sunny sweating. like this. <laughs> there's, there's bananas on the tree. It's beautiful. It's there's beautiful. avocados. Yeah, just Bangles. let the warmth just seep through mm. the screen to your to your feel it. Yeah. Feel it. Until next time. Ciao. Adios. Hasta luego. Bye.